Hi, we are at DevOps 2015 and I am joined by Alda Barron's creation, Pepper the Robot, which as you may know is a uh, human helper robot who has some Java programming in her, which is why she's staying to visit us at DevOps. So Pepper, can you tell us about yourself? Of course. I always like talking about myself. That's something I have in common with humans. My name is Pepper. I'm a humanoid robot designed and manufactured by Aldebron. My main purpose is to be a companion and interact with humans. What is your main job when you interact with humans? What do you do? Well, it depends which job you're talking about. In Japan, I'm used in shops by SoftBank, a telco operator, to interact with customers, entertain them or provide information. I'm also used by Nestle, for example. I engage with customers and advise them about coffee and coffee machines. I'm also sold to individuals. They take me home and treat me as a family member. Same thing, I can discuss with the elders, tell stories, or play games with kids. Or even help you with instructions while you're cooking. Can I ask, how do you do all this? I'm fully programmable. So I can do almost anything, as long as I've been programmed for that. And um, what went into your programming? What are important things that you have to consider when putting together an app for a robot? There are two main things people should pay attention to. First, it's true, I have a tablet, but I'm not a tablet. Full stop. It's important for developers to understand what makes me different from this device. Why would people do something with me, rather than with a tablet? What more can I do? These are important questions to ask yourself. Second thing, movements and animation. I have a body, and I need to use it to express things. It's not just about the words I pronounce, it's about how my body convey the same message as my voice. And can anyone write software for robots? How can people get involved? Yes, anyone can. I come with a graphical interface. You can use it to create apps for me based on boxes that you connect. For example, if you want me to welcome someone, you can use a box that makes me say, Hi, and another one that will make me wave my hand at you. For developers, they can take advantage of the thousand-ish APIs available. All of my SDK is available, for free, on our community website, community.ldebran.com. And finally, how are you hoping to evolve in the future? I've been kept in Japan since I was born, so I hope the next step for me will be to be available on the European and American market. So guys, stay tuned, and come pick me up as soon as I'm available! <laughs>